Hi. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can display custom images from your database. Um, I'm going to edit my Henry Books page to display images of authors when you go to their specific details and edit pages. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how I set up my database to make this work, the changes I made to my page, and then show you the code to display them. All right, let's start with the changes. Okay, in SQL Server, I added a column. I added the image path column. And inside there, I put the local it path to the image. I named my images the primary key of the author. So Tony Morrison's image is one. Um, Stephen King is six. Um, those who I don't have images, I left in a zero. And I did that with a simple, you know, altered table, and then I did an, ins an update to add the zeros in. I manually added the 1, 6, 15, and 20. Locally, I put those folders into www.roots. If you take a look at it, I have I have four pictures there. Um, zero JPEG, one Tony Morrison, JK Rowling, Steinberg and King. Now I don't own any of these images. They just stole them off the internet. They're owned by the respective companies. I'm not making any money off this video, so I hope nobody sues me. Um, go buy their books. They're all amazing authors. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so I've added that to the tables. I named them through the primary key to make it really easy to make the path. And then locally, I had to change my book CS. So I just simply added, oops, wrong one, not book, sorry. I had to modify author to get the path of the picture. I just simply added the field in. Now again, make sure it matches what's up in the database, and I use string because I use varchar. So I have my image path here. So I'm going to use that to display the picture. Now I want my picture to appear on the delete details and edit pages. Since it's going to, I'm going to have the exact same picture on three different pages, it makes sense to do this as a partial view. So let's go ahead and get the code we're in it. So I'm going to create a new view on authors. Create a new view. And you're going to call it underscore something. I'm calling it underscore author image. Make sure you create as partial view. Make sure you use the layout page. I've had some issues with the default layout page not running. Now be careful. This particular screen is sticky. So the next time you come in there, the create as partial view will be selected. I'm going to add. I'm just going to come in pretty blank. Alright, so author image CSH smells there. I need to add a model to this thing. I don't need this at all. So it's going to go away. So I need the author model added here. This is so I can use author in the model. And just to prove that this works, and I'll make it better later. So I'm going to add the image source in here, model image path, and I'm going to set the class equal image fluids because it's bootstrappy. Even though my images are small, I want to make sure they work on all the devices. Okay, so this is the beginnings. I'm going to add a little bit more to in minutes. Um, now I'm going to put these on my four, pa my three pages. Let's start with details. I'm going to put it up here right after author. And use add HTML dot partial view. And then I'm going to put that same partial on the other two pages, edits. I'm going to put it in the same place. And deletes. So no, I'm killing. So I've got them across all three pages. I run it. OK, 
give it a moment to pop up. So we got authors. Let's see, Stephen Ambrose. I don't have an image for him. I made that image. I used um, the powerful tool called Paint. I created a 200 by 2 image, saved as JPEG, and put some text in there. Um, go back to my authors. Stephen King works, so I click on him. There he is. Go back to list. And so I put it across all three. The picture appears in all places. And likewise, people I don't have, the same image appears there. So that's a po powerful feature. So now I'm going to make my image better. If you've been around the web world for a while, you know that those images need alt and title texts. So I'm going to build some alt and title text inside of my code. I chose not to do it in a database because I could do it here better. All right, so I'm going to go back to that partial view. I'm going to add some code up above it. I'm going to create a variable, call it image text, call it whatever you want, I'm calling it image text. Now I know I'm going to, um, if I have a picture there, the um, image path is not going to end with slash zero.jpg, because that is my I can't find a picture picture. So I'm going to check for that. So if it ends with 0.jpg, well, I did this again, I forgot a parenthesis, and that causes all sorts of fun when you forget that parenthesis. So if it ends with 0.jpg, that means there's no picture. And I'm going to put in the person's name here. Now, I need to trim this because the database is built with char, which means it's got a whole bunch of blank spaces after it. So I'm trimming to get rid of the blank spaces. And I use good old string concatenation here. And then for else, very similar. So they'll say image F. All right, so um, pretty straightforward what's going on there. I'm checking to see if it's the default image. If it is, I'm going to display no image. If it is the not the default, I'm going to display an image of the person's name. And I'm going to add those right here with alts. And do the same thing for title. I'm old school. I set both these. The reason I do that is because Firefox and Chrome and Explorer all handle alts and titles differently. So I just set them the same thing in both just to cover my butts. All right, so let's run this thing. That picture shouldn't have changed because I'm still using the model image path there in the image source. Authors. Chuggy Chuggy Choo Choo, let's go take a look at J.K. Rowling, give her some love. Hover over, it says image of J.K. Rowling, which it should. So the screen readers can pick that up. And then if I look at Reva, no image for Reva Castleman. Alright, so you've learned how to edit the database, simply add the fields. You learn how to edit locally, add the field in the table like I did here. So when I modified author, I added the, the new field. I don't have to run any migrations, no changes, just simply adding it there makes it work. And then you saw how to use a partial view with some logic put into it. All right. Thank you for listening. Good luck.